It's live on KEXP. I'm your host, Eva Walker, from Listener Powered 90.3 FM, broadcasting live in Seattle and streaming 24-7 on KEXP.org and, of course, on the mobile app. And uh, today we have in one of my favorite local bands, Astor House, and they're going to play four songs for us and then we're going to chat. So you're in for a treat. Take it away, you guys.
One moment, please. Acoustic. You got Make it. haste. Uh. Oh, I got it. Wrapped in my belt. I forgot. Everyone's a little angry at you. Think about how angry I am at myself. 
Live on KEXP, we're with Aster House. I don't know why I said it like the Aster House. <laughs> Feeling extra today, John, sorry. <laughs> it's only right. by his shaken hand He said pardon me but what's troubling you man Isn't me perhaps All right I'll change I caught God in the We look down on all the sad people he made Are they thorn in your side? Hang tight They're gonna change Fast, cause all this world's gonna forget about you. Let me show you these things I've written in my diary. You might just learn something from someone like me. The country is not a safe place to hide. messages resonate from you nowhere and now I put my head on the ground to see if any messages resonate from you nowhere God is sitting in the sycamore tree and I'm too afraid to look up She's looking at me And I That's how you follow it up. <laughs> <laughs> this episode just be me switching between instruments. Ah. Oh man. Christ 
invented the TV, so thank you, sir, for everything that's wrong with me. Images of death can't get to sleep, and the national news breathing down my nervous neck. They only care about their sweet friend to Stick figures tore me apart. Teen sleep under the tinfoil American red. I never thought I could kill I only thought I could wound I always have been my tongue As hard as I could Now I'm not afraid Now I'm not afraid I'm
live on KEXP. Just heard the wonderful sounds of Aster House. Hi, you guys. Wow, that was amazing. We love you, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I really think, I mean, I wouldn't just say this, you know, I'm not pulling this out of my ass. I really think you guys are one of the best bands in Seattle, oh, honestly. I, I really think that's, that. that's why you're here. One of the most hideous bands. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> we have John Thornburg on the drums and brother Russ Thornburg on guitar and Julio Posada on the bass. Thanks for being here. And before we start talking, you know, getting all serious and stuff, uh, you brought some decorations oh, and I just want to yes. cause or not cause, bring some attention to those decorations. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. A lot of power, huh? Wow. Can you explain some of the other decorations you have in the room while well, I kind of get myself acquainted with this? We're thing? really into Tupperware and string cheese, so we thought that we'd display that. Yeah. We almost brought the whole set, but we couldn't have fit it in the car. Yeah. We got our dirty ham in there. Yes? Yeah. Um, there's the wizard over there. And These are actually our only friends, so, yeah, uh -huh. so we, we really thought we'd bring them. We really support today. Yeah. So, so, yeah. That's, that's me. <laughs> That's oh. <laughs> Sorry, uh, me and Travis were just having fun over here with no, this. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm going to try to do this interview. I, I gave him a name, by the way. Oh, what is it? So um, the name I landed on is Jojuru <laughs> Nataz. Whoa. He has been named. What is, what is it again? Jojuru Nate has. I, I wow. like that name because if I want to say it, I have to be sober. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jojuru uh, is the first two letters of each of your first names. <laughs> oh! <laughs> See how um, smart we are? <laughs> <laughs> And then Nate has is just Satan backwards. So. <laughs> Ooh, see, I should have known that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I really should have known that. I'm kind of okay, so um, <laughs> Joe Giroux is going to be conducting some of this interview. I hope that's, that's okay. Is that okay? You can't really shake your head yes. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, so my first, or Joe Giroux's first question is, um, so you guys are brothers. What is it like working together? It's constant hell. Oh, can I say that? Can I say? <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, good. I'll say it again. <laughs> I'll emphasize it. It's constant hell. No, actually, it's, uh, it's, it's honestly, it's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I count myself extremely lucky. Yeah. Because um, I don't think we're afraid to uh, share any ideas. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, oh, totally. It's yeah. really, um, it's, a, it's a very emotionally driven partnership. <laughs> yeah, it's very, I mean, we're similar enough and different enough to make it work, you know, where like, I feel like if we were both one of us or the other of us, it wouldn't work, you know? Does that make sense? I, I don't know if it Combined does. to one human. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's, uh, I yeah, I, I think we were able to, like, all three of us are able to just kind of balance each other out, you know, and Julio's- Julio's our, our best friend. Yeah, an honorary <laughs> brother, you know, it's, it's past the friend, we're past the friends of Julio. <laughs> I hope you know. So that. we're really lucky to have Julio too. I mean, yeah. it's just it's a very emotionally driven relationship with him as well. So it mm. it allows us to kind of create without um, being scared. So. And you know, there's this very special. That's hard to say without moving a little special place in Eva's heart for sibling bands. <laughs> I might as well move my teeth because there's certain words you can't say without your lips. <laughs> Um, You're going to get some nasty <laughs> comments from, like, professional <laughs> ventriloquists. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is she doing? Her technique is completely <gasps> off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, wrong thing. Okay, so um, I'll ask the next question. <laughs> um, John, wow, yeah. how did you develop being able to sing and play killer I mean, that's some coordination. Yeah, I, that's I think amazing. it helps to have no friends. <laughs> But um, I, I don't know. I mean, it was the kind of thing where I was growing up and I always really wanted to sing, but I also really wanted to play the drums. And, and so I just thought like, well, why not, I guess. And um, it's been really, it, it's, it's been a really fun undertaking and it's been challenging. And, uh, but it's, it's constant fun because it's a, like a constant math problem that I cannot quite figure out in my head every time I do it. So, uh, yeah. That's, that's how it all happened. And, you know, 
<laughs> this is Joe Juru. <laughs> um, what Eva really likes about you guys' music and songwriting is that you're similar. You talk about Jesus Christ quite a bit and sometimes Satan. And that's right up her alley. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about why you talk about those things and maybe some of your background with religion, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, I, I wouldn't consider myself religious. Um, I guess I think it's kind of interesting to talk about things that I don't understand and to kind of almost massage them out of my brain in that way. Like, I don't really understand God or whatever, whatever it is. Um, I did not know I'd be answering this question. <laughs> um, but no, I, I, I really like to kind of write about things I, I don't quite get. And so it's kind of me trying to figure stuff out, I guess. So every, every one of our songs is us kind of questioning what's going on, whether it's spiritually or, you know, in the culture, in the world. You know, it's every song's a little bit of a question mark. So, yeah. yeah. That's our favorite punctuation mark. Yeah. 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 I mean, I like to tell people, because I, I don't know, I got like four songs that mention Jesus. And I'm just like, I just, I just have a real complicated relationship with, yeah. with Jesus. Yeah. It just keeps coming up. Oh, totally. <laughs> it's like, a, like we had a bad breakup or something. You know? <laughs> like text you back. So I'm like, I'm over it. And then the next song, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we did pick a lot of songs where we brought up Jesus, I just did realized. We? Yeah. I, 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 oh, we did. did all four of them? Wow. <laughs> and I really like the line that you start with in Cartoon Violence. Can you just recite that line again? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I, uh, Jesus Christ invented the TV, so thank you, sir, for everything that is wrong with me. <gasps> My hands went in the air. I was like, ah! ah! <laughs> 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 Incredible. Uh, so, what is it like? Excuse me. <clears throat> he wants to ask a question. What is your songwriting process like? I, <laughs> or did you already answer that? Yeah, you know, I, I think it kind of just goes all around, you know. Um, yeah, I think um, most of the time, what. Um, uh, ends up happening is John will have these lyrics going through his head or just some lines going through his head as he's driving to work and he thinks about it for a second and then Russ and I will be sitting getting tuned up for a practice and then John, uh, Russ will start playing something then I'll start playing along and then John walks into the room and he's just like keep playing that and uh, then we play it through and then it's like oh it's another song um sometimes john will come home and tell us it's like oh i had these words just going through my head and i couldn't get them out and i just knew oh um something was going to happen so i mean at first it was like oh it was just coincidence and then it happens most of the times and then it's like okay well <laughs> nice yeah. Yeah. and julio can you just <clears throat> i keep getting us mixed up can you show off that beautiful pink bass you brought with you? My goodness. My goodness, it's gorgeous. Yeah, the Oh my god, get a close up of that thing. That's <laughs> great. I mean, that's great everywhere. Yeah, um, I got a really good deal from it. Um, you know, a friend of ours, uh, he bought it for his daughter a while back ago, like years ago, and then you know, um, she didn't get into bass as much as she wanted to. And so then they still had this bass and they're like, hey, uh, Julio, I have this bass. It, you, it looks like you've been needing a backup bass for a while. And so I thought he gave me a good deal on it. And I thought, yeah, perfect. It's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you, Astor House, for performing live here on KEXP. John Thornburg on the drums. Russ Thornburg on guitar and piano. Let me not forget that. Uh. And Julio Posada on bass. Uh, thank you so much for being on KEXP. Thank you so Thanks much. for having thank us. You for having us. You're, amazing. You're amazing. And um, you. thank you to our video team, Jim, Alia, Carlos, and Scott, and engineer Julian. Photos by Travis, and hospitality by Mitch. And um, let me just turn my paper around. <laughs> um, Joe, Joe, Joe Juru is going to kind of talk us out. So go ahead. KXP 
<clears throat> you don't have to get me in this shot. KEXP is a nonprofit, and these live performances are made possible by donations from people like you. Please consider supporting KEXP by visiting kexp.org slash live. I'm Joju Ru, and I will soon replace Eva Walker. <laughs> Bye. Discover great music at kexp.org.